boxing truth here. Terrence Crawford, a lightweight cherry picker. He's heading into the biggest fight of his career. A fight he's admitted that's going to be the toughest opponent of his career. When he faces off Victor Postol. What is a unification bout to determine the best 140 pound fighter in the, in the world. And wanted to talk a little bit about this fight. Terrence Crawford, he's the guy coming in with the hype. He's getting pound for pound status simply by knocking out a couple of hand picked lightweights, even smaller fighters, featherweights, getting a lot of recognition despite not really facing the type of names or doing. Getting the type of fights needed in order to get this type of recognition. Hey, people say he's pound for pound. The magazines say he's pound for pound. But you look at the resume. Where is all this hype coming from? I mean, he needs to do a little more than knock out a couple of hand-picked lightweights to get that type of recognition. If he wants to be on boxing troops, pound for pound lists. But the kid's a good fighter. I give Terrence Crawford a hard time. But he does have ability, does have talent. But he does also has some flaws. And this fight's going to be inter- interesting to see where Crawford's at. How truly good Crawford is. Because he's going to be in there with an opponent who's taller than him, has a bigger reach than him. And it's going to be a difficult style type matchup. Will it be a great fight? Stylistically, looking at the fight from both guys' styles... It may not be a great fight, but it, it could be a very high-speed chess match between two good fighters, two difficult styles to deal with in both Crawford and Postal. And I was watching some some footage on both guys recently. Since there's not really much buzz going on with this fight, finally there's some footage on you know some interviews, media workouts being held. Victor Postal had a media workout. Freddie Roach did a number of interviews. Bob Arum did a number of interviews. And this is going to be a tough fight for both guys, especially Crawford. He's going to be in there with a guy in Postal who is very rangy. He's a good boxer. Has a very good jab. He's got underrated power in his right hand. And he's got great conditioning. The guy's in awesome shape when he's when he fights. He throws a lot of punches. He's got good footwork. He's not the fastest guy. He's not the most athletic guy. But he's a very he's got very good fundamentals. He's he he leads off the jab. He has a very good jab. It's very long. He's very rangy. And he has tactics where if you try to get inside, he ties you up. I was recently watching his fight with Matisse again. Postal's fight with Matisse. And he just totally trashed Matisse. It was a one-sided fight. Matisse maybe won two rounds, three at most. And Postal just systematically broke him down. Just picked him apart from the outside. Matisse would try to get in and he would get tied up. And what was crazy was that the referee in the fight, he warned Postal to stop holding. He told him, you know, stop holding. And then as soon as he did that, Postal even started fighting even better. He started to put even more of a beat down on Matisse. And he became the first guy to stop him. I mean, Matisse has never been stopped. He's fought good competition. He's been in good fights. He's had good wins. He's never won a world title officially, though he should have when he knocked out Lamont Peterson, which for some strange reason was a catchweight bout, even though Peterson held a world title at the time. So Matisse is a good fighter with with good power, but but physically against Postal, he was outmatched, was... Couldn't close the distance. Got outboxed and pummeled with, by combinations, right hands, good body work from Postal, good footwork, keeping him away, keeping distance, and ultimately made him quit. Stopped him. Matisse had never even been nowhere near nowhere. He's never been even been near close to a stoppage loss in his career. He lost 
to Danny Garcia, Zab Judah. But in those fights, especially in the Danny Garcia fight, he got outboxed, but he closed the fight very strong. Even stronger than Danny Garcia, as Garcia in the past has shown the tendency to gas in some fights. But against Postal, it was Matisse that didn't have the didn't show the type of conditioning that Postal showed. Postal kept getting stronger as the fight started going on, and that's the thing about Postal. When the fight keeps when the fight keeps going rounds, he gets sharper, he gets more confident, he gets stronger, and he has underrated knockout power. And this is going to be a very difficult fight for Crawford. I don't see a blowout from Crawford. I don't see a a another early sensational knockout that he's been displaying against lightweights. He's going to be in there with a much more physical guy, much taller, very very good condition, good boxing ability. And Crawford's defense is shaky. There's been in fights where he's recorded knockouts. He's been he's been getting tagged a lot. He got tagged against Delorme. He was getting getting tagged up by Hank Hank Lundy. He didn't really look that good in that fight until the knockout. Until he landed that big left hand in the fifth round. Before that, it was kind of even competitive rounds even. Where Lundy was landing some shots. And Crawford was getting tagged and outboxed by a much smaller Gamboa who was very inactive. So Crawford's defense really concerns me in this fight. He's He's been getting tagged up in fights. He hasn't shown superior defense, a great defense. He, he can get hit with the jab. He can get hit with count, you know, overhand rights, left hooks. It would be ideal for Crawford to to remain in the southpaw stance than the orthodox stance, where he's a little even even more open to punches down the middle. When he's on the offer doc stance. This is going to be an interesting fight to see how Crawford deals with. Postal's range. His jab. His boxing ability. Postal has the advantages in height and reach. So it's going to be him that's going to be. Moving around and Crawford having, having to close the distance. Crawford throws a lot of jabs. He's got a good counter punching ability. And we're we're gonna see Crawford tested in this fight. It's not gonna be easy. Aram Aram's uh looks a little nervous. He it's pretty obvious that Bob Aram wants Terrence Crawford to win. They're, they're the one that that he's be, that they're pushing to promote to be a you know the uh, the next star in top rank stable. There's more upside with him if he wins. But uh. According to Freddie Roach, he's uh, perhaps feeling a little nervous about this fight. Declined to even uh, to to see Postal work out as he doesn't want to see how sharp he is. And Postal is looking pretty sharp. In some of the, the footage I've seen him on the pads, he's, he's in good shape, throws a lot of punches. All Crawford has to do is make this fight close. And... and Make it to the finish line. He'll get the decision. Because he's the A-side. HBO is pushing him. And Bob Aaron wants him to win. So all he has to do is make this fight close. And he'll most likely get the decision. But. I'm going with the upset special. I think Victor Postal is going to win this fight. But if it goes 12 and it's close, then I don't see Postal getting a decision. But I see Postal surprising a lot of people. Not me, but he's he's going to mark up. He's going to he's gonna tag Terrence Crawford a lot. As Crawford's defense is lacking. It ain't the best in the world. He gets hit with... with he gets tagged by everybody. And but if but in fights he's been able to turn it up. But would be would he be able to turn it up against Postal, who's shown great conditioning in fights who gets stronger as the fight wars on and he has underrated power and he looked tremendous his last fight trash Matisse stopped him made him quit Matisse had never been close to been being stopped before I think Terrence Crawford is going to get ice 
by Rick the Postal. I'm going with the Usset Special. Got Postal by late round stoppage as his conditioning, his underrated power with his right hand, his 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 range, his tactics by being able to tie up on his opponents on the inside, it's frustrating his opponents when they do get inside. He's going to keep Terrence Crawford getting the jab. He's going to make Crawford very uncomfortable. Crawford's going to have to find a way to, to counter Postal's jab and movement. To find a way to try to get inside and land the left hand and see if he can do some damage. But Postal is tough. He's shown good chin in fights. He took some big shots against Matisse. was able to weather the storm. And it's going to be a very tough fight. But I think Postal is going to pull it out in, a, in an upset. But I could be wrong. Don't mind being wrong. Crawford has more upside if he wins. He'll be in line for bigger fights. But I don't see him being in the mix for a Manny Pacquiao fight. No matter what Bob Arum said. That's up to Manny Pacquiao and Michael Kahn's. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this fight. Who you got. I think Crawford's going to get upset. It may even get out boxing and stopped by the Iceman, Victor Postal. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.